Like, I knew I was done for. Like, I was like, what's up, YouTube? I'm a bad bitch. Fuck the bitch. Bitch gets late. I'm a cut the bitch. It's your girl, Kata Siobhan, and this is Kata's Queendom. Today's video is going to be a story time, my first ever story time. I got all the tea. I got all the juice, y'all. Y'all just got to let me know y'all want to hear it. Y'all want to see it because I don't know if I'm going to continue this if it don't do good. I don't know if I want to spill my business and then nobody watch. Mm, I don't know about that. So, we're going to test how this goes. It's going to be my very first story time. I'm going to give y'all a little tizzy taste of the things I used to partake in as a youngin. But yeah, this story time is about... Woo! <laughs> When I was like 16 years old, I had my very first job at Wendy's. And um, first of all, let me put out a disclaimer to my family who's watching. I love you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get into the video. So this video is about my experience hitting a lace blunt at work. Yeah, I did that. I did. I was 16. I ain't never smoked weed before. I ain't never had nothing to do with weed before. And for some reason, I think that I just was out of my mind. And actually, I, I know why. I was, I was hurt. Anyway, but I hit some random guy in the drive throughs blunt, and it was definitely laced. That smoke was purple, because I don't know what I was thinking. But I had never, I had never, so I was just like, whatever. Because he offered, he had been in the parking lot for a while. And then I just, but let me give y'all the real detail, the detail for real. But yes, this video is about me hitting the lace blunt while I worked the drive through at Wendy's when I was 16. This video is not for kids. Excuse my nails, y'all. Excuse my nails. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. Thank you. If y'all see me looking down, it's because I have my nose in front of me right here. So it was a Sunday. My shift started like 9 in the morning. And if you knew at the time, Wendy's didn't have no breakfast meat. So I don't know why we was open at 9 a.m. Anyway, it was slow. It was super, super freaking slow. I worked the drive through Wasn't nobody working. We got the um, after church rush where people come, you know, to get some food and then they go home, you know. But I remember these really nice old ladies in particular that day because they had given me a tip. And they was really, like, nice and cute and, like... It was annoying because they wanted all their food fresh and like she wanted me to microwave the buns and stuff. Like, I don't know why I remember this and so much. Oh, I know why, because I was on drugs. Anyway, okay, so there was this one car parked in our parking lot for like hours and hours and hours. And then he finally decides to get in the drive-thru and order something. Then he, I took his order, he pulled up to the window. That man pulled up and he blew that smoke at me. I, when I tell y'all that smoke was purple, I ain't never seen no smoke purple in my life. I was like... While he was waiting for his food, he was like, hey, you wanna hit this? And he got like this fat freaking blunt in his hand. I didn't know, I didn't know, I did not know that you are not supposed to trust random blunts from strangers at work. I didn't know, okay? I was 16, this was my first job. I was just doing things because of my life at the time. And so, I didn't know that you don't just hit stranger blunts and drive through. I didn't. I'm gonna just be honest. I didn't, and I did it. Your girl hit that blunt, okay? And I remember specifically because at the time I was like, all right, purple smoke, okay, you know, weed, purple, perp, you know, they all in rap terms and stuff, whatever. Maybe it works, right? Bruh. As I'm passing his food out the window, he hand me the blunt. And I remember this specifically because he tells me to duck down a little bit lower so that the camera behind me at the drive-thru can't see. I ducked down, I hit that blunt. I hit that shit one time, you guys. I hit that shit one time, and I knew. I knew I was fucked up. I could not continue work. <laughs> like, I really was, I was done. Like, it was so bad. Instantaneously, things were off. Like, real life, they, shit was off. And, I was, I was scared. I was scared. I thought I was going to die. Like, I really, real life thought I was going to die. I was like, I didn't overdose on some drugs. I was only sick day what my parents got like. Uh, I was so upset. I really thought I was going to die. I really regretted that decision that day. Like, I thought I was going to die. As soon as I turned around, the guy didn't pulled off and stuff. I'm going to the break room. 
the floor, the ground is slanted. I'm like, it's all tipsy turvy, and I'm trying to like walk, and it, I'm like, whoa, and my legs all up and down, even though the ground's not like that, obviously, I'm off drugs. And I, I went to my phone to text my, my ex, my ex, and as I was typing, the keyboard started disappearing. But I was still typing, even though the letters was gone. Even though the letters was gone, I was still. And I'm sitting there looking, and then the screen turned black. And I'm like, oh, Lord. And then I instantly called my mom. I called my mom and was like, Mom. But my shift was almost over, so she was outside waiting for me anyway. But I was like, Mom, come get me. Uh-uh. No, I can't handle this. It's stuff that happened that word. Blah, blah, blah. I started crying. My mom came inside the Wendy's and I went to hug her and tell her what was going on and I passed out. Like, how I knew I passed out was because I felt my body go limp and I had no control over that. And I was like, what am I doing? She like holding me up and shit. And then I woke up again. Like, it was so weird. Like, it was the weirdest. Like, I felt me being passed out, but I couldn't do nothing about it at the time. I just was shut down. So then I pulled myself back up, pulled myself back together. She sent me down at the restaurant and she's talking to me. I knew she was recording me. I knew my mom was recording me, but for some reason, she never showed me the video. We never talked about this again, ever, never. Not even when I went back to work, nothing, nothing. Like, I literally felt like this experience was gaslighted into my brain or something. Like, I, I literally was like, did that not occur and I was just dreaming or what? Because nobody around me brought it up. Like, literally nobody said shit. And so I was just like, okay. And I know my mom has a video. I know my mama was recording me, but she has not shown me the video to this day. She ain't brought it up to this day, nothing, nothing. And I knew she was recording me because she told me to stop cussing. She told me to stop cussing. I knew she was recording me. I don't remember getting in the car or driving home, but I do remember that I slept the entire rest of the day and I woke up at like 2, 3 a.m. cause I was hungry. Luckily, my mom was still awake again. Thanks mom, you was clutch. And she took me to the McDonald's down the street cause I was hungry. She bought me food because my dad was, we had to sneak out the house because my dad was strict about eating food late at night. And so it was me, my little sister, and my mom. We had snuck out the house and we went and got McDonald's. And then we finished the McDonald's in the car and get rid of the bags before we have to, before, you know, dad see him and stuff. So we would throw them in the trash before we even came into the house. Boom, boom, boom. We, it was handled, right? I ate that McDonald's and I passed right out again. Like, I wasn't awake for no time at all. Like, I literally ate and was back in the bed. I remember waking up the next day and I was still tired. Like, still knocked the heck out, okay? I can't remember if I went to school that day or came late or whatever. Like, I was so tired, y'all. Like, I don't even know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I was tired. Like, literally. Moral of the story is, don't do drugs. I'm just kidding. The moral of the story is don't do drugs with strangers at work. Don't do drugs, kids. Only do drugs if you know what drugs you're doing and no hard ones either. We do not condone in hard drugs. Amen? Amen. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Sorry it was so short. Hopefully next time we'll get a longer one. But this story wasn't, it didn't have that much to it, but it still was a good story because I was doing drugs. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I love you so much. I love my supporters. I love everybody who watches me. And check out my TikTok video that I posted to promote this video. How about that? Follow me on all the things. Love you, babes. Love you. Bye.